What's good guys, it's your boy Josh back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about how often you should train a body part. It's going to apply to both men and women so it's going to be able to help all of you guys out. The first thing you guys need to establish is whether you're training high volume or low volume because this is going to make a huge difference. If you're training high volume, an example of it would be basically going to the gym, doing about four compound exercises per muscle group. So for example, say I'm training chest, it will be um, incline bench press, flat bench press, um, incline dumbbell press and dips. That's an example of doing of high volume. So a lot of compound exercises, you're probably going to be hitting about four to five sets and keeping the reps around 10 to 12 or 8 to 10, you know, around that sort of area. Low volume, on the other hand, is going to the gym and doing no more than probably two compound exercises per muscle group. So you might just go to the gym, do a regular bench press and maybe incline dumbbell press and you'll go slightly heavier but you'll do less sets so maybe no more than three sets and maybe keep the reps a little bit lower as well but you probably could lift a bit heavier weight obviously because it's not as the volume isn't as high so once you've established whether you train high or low volume the next thing that comes into play is whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced lifter if you're an advanced lifter i'm guessing that with the right training throughout all these years and the right diet that you've built a good foundation you you built yourself a good physique once you're an advanced lifter, you can alter your program and train twice a week. So for example, if you have a lagging muscle group, this is usually when you would um, up your frequency, your training frequency to two times a week. So say you've got a lagging upper chest, you can actually dedicate one day just hitting your full chest routine and the next day, the, your next chest day throughout the week, you can focus more on the upper chest, focus more on your incline movements, incline flies, incline presses, and just focus on developing that upper chest. So that's usually when you would go for twice a week in your training. I'm gonna presume that if you're watching this, you are a beginner, because if you was advanced, I'm pretty sure you, you're happy with your training program as it is at the moment. So if you are a beginner, I would personally recommend one day per week per muscle group. Now, the reason I say this is because you can make some great gains at the beginning of your journey with just one day a week of training. For me, I don't believe a beginner has to come twice a week to the gym to train the same muscle group. Your, your muscles aren't used to the training frequency as it is. You're new to the gym. There's really no need to put your muscles under that stress of coming twice a week and training the same muscle. For me, what's more important is the volume of your workout as opposed to your training frequency. Like I explained, um, volume is basically the amount of sets, reps you do and stuff like that. Whereas training frequency is how much you come to the gym. So if you come once or twice a week. Now, personally me, I train high volume. So I'm only gonna be talking about high volume in this video. That's not to say that this is the only way you can train. Low volume doesn't work. Low volume is good as well. Everyone's different. But personally me, this is what I've done. Uh, this is how I like to train. So I'm only gonna be covering this because it's what I do. I, I only I'm teaching you guys what I have done and what's worked best for me in my experience. So if you train high volume, you're going to be doing a lot of sets and a lot of reps, much more than you would be if you was training low volume. For this reason, you won't be able to be hit in the same body part twice a week, especially if you're a beginner because you're new to everything. It's going to take you a longer time to recover because obviously you're putting your muscles under more stress, but growth happens during the recovery. The reason we go to the gym is to put our muscles under stress, but the real growth comes from your diet and your recovery. So if you're not getting the full recovery, you're not gonna get optimal results. As long as your training is effective and you're, you're training high volume, you're definitely gonna see results, regardless if you're training once a week or twice a week. Once a week is, is more than enough, trust me, because if the intensity is there, you're gonna make results. I'm sorry, but what, whatever training program you're following, if you're not giving, if you're not challenging yourself, if it's not intense, you're not pushing yourself week in and week out, you're lifting the same weights, um, there's not much progression there, you're not gonna make results. I don't care if you train twice, you hit that body part twice a week, three times a week, you could train it four times a week. If the intensity is not there, you're not gonna make results. That's why I'm a huge advocate of high volume, okay? So hit that muscle once a week hard and I guarantee you're gonna see results. And at the end of the day, if you're a bodybuilder, you, you got, you've got a lot of muscles to train. You've only got seven days in a week. You, you need to de designate, obviously, a different muscle for every single day. If you start messing around training muscles twice a week, you don't have much, much time in the week to do that. You're going to have to be in the gym seven days a week. And to be honest, as a beginner, who wants to be in the gym seven days a week? That's a lot on your body. There's not enough rest. Train once hard a week as much rest as you can, make sure you're recovering properly, 
and you're gonna see optimal results. I guarantee you, don't get caught into the trap of you thinking, oh, do you know what? The more I train, the, the, the better I'm gonna look. No, go into the gym, smash your workout, train hard and recover, recover, because the growth comes in the recovery. Make sure your diet's on point, and, and you're gonna see great results, I guarantee you guys. As I explained before, once you've been in the gym for a few years, you develop a good foundation, the muscle maturity is coming, and obviously you're, you're gonna be an advanced lifter by then, that's when you can start introducing twice a week, because when it gets to a point when you can see weak points and, and, and muscles you need to target more, that's when you can start hitting your muscles twice a week, because your body's more, it's adapted to once a week, and, and sometimes it will need a higher, higher training frequency. So that's when you can put in two days. But as a beginner, or even an intermediate lifter, you don't really need to be training more than twice a week. As long as you're smashing your workouts, they're intense, they're effective, and you know your, your, your diet's in check, and your recovery is on point as well. I know some of you are probably asking yourself, but what about when I hit triceps after chest day, or if I hit biceps after back day? Now you have to understand that's gonna be very low volume, so you should be doing no more than three exercises. Even, even three is quite a lot, but if you've had a full blown back workout, you shouldn't really have energy to go through a whole bicep workout as well, right? So if you're training, you're, you're doing two exercises for biceps, you're probably doing about three sets on each one, 10 to 12 reps, yeah? That's very low volume, so that that I don't count that as a bicep workout. You need to give your secondary muscles a day of training as well. Don't even count the day where you train chest and you hit your triceps after, okay? Designate a day for your triceps as well and hit them hard as well because it doesn't matter whether it's a smaller muscle group or you're a large muscle group, you need to hit them both hard to make to make gains. I hope this video was helpful guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you do want any other videos, any other suggestions, leave it down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. Share it with your friends and I appreciate your support as always. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you later guys.